So what is a futar? We've all read Dune, we've all read, you know, the descriptions of a futar, but ultimately if you've never read Hunters of Dune, you probably don't have a full-on depiction of a futar. A lot of people refuse to read Hunters of Dune because it was not written by the man, the myth, the legend, Frank frickin' Herbert. It was written by his son, Brian Herbert, and this dude, Kevin J. Anderson. It was okay. Um, you know, I've read all of the Dune books that were written by Frank Herbert. So that's Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics of Dune, and then, my favorite, Chapter House of Dune. Alright, so here's the thing. A lot of people love God Emperor of Dune. I like the lore surrounding Leto the Second, but ultimately he's a douche. I'm not a big fan of his character. There's plenty of, plenty of way more interesting characters that pop up really after he dies. Because ultimately, uh, you know, once Paul dies in Children of Dune, uh, Leto the Second becomes the main character. And all the other kind of interesting characters like Anima and Princess Irulan and a few others are all dead. Right? So then... You get to heretics, and you meet this dude named Miles Tag. Tag, right, is a Bashar. And remember, at the end of, uh, I believe it was at the end of the first Dune, remember, the Saru Dakar were integrated into the Fremen army, right? So eventually, descendants of the original Imperial Legion's uh, Saru Dakar, right, the, em the Emperor's Imperial Legion, eventually you know, sort of melt into uh, the Atreides line. So eventually, in the far future, there's tons and thousands, if not millions of descendants of the Atreides line, but Miles Tag is a Bashar who's miles above the rest, right? So I'm going to eventually get to talking about what the futars look like. I just want to kind of, uh, excuse me, work my way there. All right, so Miles Tag is this Dude is the dude, right? He's got super speed. He's uh, is awesome. The way Frank Herbert wrote someone moving at super speed was amazing, especially when you realize that it came out. You know, he was writing that shit in the seventies and eighties, and like a little bit ahead of its time. Really cool. So anyway, um, what does a futar look like? So futar, they are a beast human hybrid that were you know created. For one one design, and that was to hunt and kill honored matres. The honored matres are basically a twisted form of the Bene Gesserit that were manipulated by the Thalaxu after the scattering, and the scattering was caused directly by Leto II's actions. So basically, Leto hoarded spice for 3,500 years, right, and basically made it so that no one had any more spice. And then after he's killed. Uh, by, uh, you know, a Gola of Duncan, Idaho, like the thousandth Duncan, Idaho Gola <clears throat> in Sayana, uh, ultimately, an event known as the Scattering happens, because they find, you know, his troves of spice, but ultimately that dwindles down, and uh, human, the human society goes out to the endless void of space and settles far unknown planets and that's called the scattering now in that event 1500 years happen before heretics of dune takes place so in that scattering event the honored matre or bini jesuit who were sent out into the scattering that were pretty much manipulated by the thalaxu face changers and um they like lost contact with all the other halves of their lives and they become these badass super would totally have sex with any one of the honored matres, even the old lady that bothers, uh, <laughs> that bothers the face changer and hunters that seduces him. <laughs> I would, I would bang that lady. She's an honored matre. They can do things with their vaginal muscles. But anyway, the futars were designed by face changers to hunt and kill honored matres. So the honored matres are so badass they actually turn the tables oh how the tables have turned so to speak right michael scott great michael scott the office um oh how the turntables the honored matre end up imprisoning a couple of the futars and it's kind of like badass like i said because they were designed to hunt and kill the honored matres so what ends up happening is at the end of chapter house there's a few futars <clears throat> i believe like six or so on the no ship that uh, Duncan Idaho and uh, most of the others like the Bashar uh, or a new Gola, which is technically a clone, is not a Gola because they were taken from living cells from Miles Tag. So Miles Tag Miles Tag dies 
at the end of um, Heretics, and then he's brought back in Chapter House, and ultimately at the end of Chapter House, Duncan Idaho takes all of these people out into space, and you know there's this there's these this ultimate enemy that's tracking them, but Duncan is able to get away from them, and that's how it ends. That's how uh, Chapter House Dune ends, and that's the last book that was written by Frank Herbert, and then his son and Kevin J. Anderson wrote. Um, Hunters of Dune, and then Sandworms of Dune, but I'll probably never read Sandworms of Dune. I'm actually on, in the process of working my way back through the original series, because that's just how we do it. Ultimately, what ends up happening is in Hunters of Dune, the story picks back up with the no-ship and the futars, and they keep making these crazy space jumps into unknown space using a Holtzman engine, and eventually, there's a trap that's late, but they don't know it's a trap. You know, so they get to this planet, and immediately the futars, when they get to this planet that seemingly is really primitive, and it's a good place for the space Jews. Like there's this um, reverend guy. Well, he's not a reverend. He's a Jewish dude that um, is a part of the refugees that are in the no ship, and um, they want to settle down there. So anyway, uh, they decide to, you know obviously take the futars home to their handlers and they decide maybe they'll stay too so they go and check it out and when they get there the futars immediately bound to the handlers it's before they find out their face changers so the face changers basically make themselves look different they have like brindled skin they look like aliens they're really tall but it's all the guys they're secretly face changers um so the futars are hunting some imprisoned honored matres and it's like this big thing right it's like this big deal they uh the people the handlers put on this big show and um they you know allow the futars to hunt the honored matres and then eventually um the gola of get this they decided to bring back thufir hawat they literally bring back all all of the original fucking characters from dune right so thufir hawat <laughs> And the um the Jewish guy, the space uh you know for, for um the rabbi, that's what he is. So the rabbi and the th uh, goal of Thufir Hawat, remember, hadn't been hadn't been around since the '60s in Dune. <laughs> he ends up betraying Paul and goes goes to go working for the Harkonnens, but in the last few minutes he remains loyal to Paul. So anyway, uh, Thufir Hawat and uh, you know the rabbi are in this tower watching the futars hunt the honored matres and then some of the futars are uh, have the better of have the honored matres get the better of the futars and then basically beat the shit out of the handlers and when they kill one of the handlers um Thufir Hawat and the rabbi notice that they change into face changers so they immediately figure out what's going on and they start running right so then uh you know um Basically, everybody else that's on the planet, Miles Tag, uh, and th they, they end up getting attacked, right? So the Futars that they brought to the planet of the Handlers end up trying to save their lives. Herm is the main Futar. He's the one that was uh, captured by the Honored Matre in um, Chapter House and Heretics, and uh, you know he's the main one. He Herm ends up killing one of the Bene Gesserit sisters on the No Ship when they're you know out in space drifting in nowhere. But anyway, what do Futars look like? <laughs> that was the whole point of this video. Okay, so if you want to take a Futar, if you want to get a, a general depiction of a Futar, look up Tony the Tiger. Okay, you see Tony the Tiger, all right? You see his build. He's got a bigger upper body, smaller lower body, but still kind of within portion, ultimately like a gorilla shape almost. But take off the stripes. Remove the head completely. Put a humanoid head on it. Cover it in fur. Give it sharp ears. Give it teeth that stick out like claws. Anyway, take Tony the Tiger, okay? Then take a um, an actual cat, okay? <laughs> then take a human, all right? Then take a Khajiit. No, you know what? Scratch all that, okay? Just take a Khajiit. A Khajiit is a creature, uh, is a race of cat-like creatures from Elder Scrolls. Um, I play as a Khajiit in a few of my characters in Elder Scrolls Online. So you take a Khajiit, right? You take Tony the Tiger, and then you take Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's body shape is that of a Futar, right? Um, literally... Joe Rogan's arms are longer than his torso because Joe Rogan's like three foot five. So if you want to picture a futar, take Joe Rogan's face, juxtapose Tony the Tiger over that, and then put a um, gorilla over that, like 
hair-wise. This is what a food tart looks like. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Please do me a massive favor and slap a like on it. I will continue to make Dune, Lord of the Rings, and House of the Dragon content. And if you want a little bit more, consider checking out my Patreon. That's linked down below in the description. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Remember, never have sex with a futar.